Welcome to the activity based learning session. See in this session we are going to learn few important questions that are given in previous examinations okay, based on academic standard 3. What is academic standard 3? Experimentation and field investigation. See this question is given several times in the annual examination. List out the materials for the experiment to investigate whether all compounds containing hydrogen or acids or not and write the experimental procedure. The same question is asked like this also, write an activity which proves that acids are good conductors of electricity. Okay, acids are good conductors of electricity, are you clear about that one? So to do this activity, the main materials needed, what are the materials needed? Beaker, okay, 100 ml of beaker, next one, see this one, bulb. See, I got the bulb and I connected this. This is the bulb. Okay. Here, this is the bulb. Okay. Next one, graphite rods. What do you mean by graphite rods? Pencil leads are nothing but graphite rods. Don't worry about it. Okay. These are the graphite rods. Okay. Graphite rods. And next one, connecting wires. These are the connecting wires. Already I connected this. Next one, 230 AC current. Okay, 230 AC current. Or we can use 9 volts battery also because 230 volts it, it is very dangerous. Are you clear? If you mi misuse that one, you may get the electrical shock. That's why to avoid that one, what I am doing, I am using the 9 volts battery. This is the 9 volts battery. Okay. Next one, and glucose, alcohol and dilute H2SO4, dilute hydrochloric acid solutions. See this one, see this is the alcohol solution, okay, this is the alcohol solution, ethanol, and this is concentrated sulfuric acid, we will dilute this one, okay. Now come to the point, before starting the experiment, what you have to do, you take the beaker, next, Take the beaker and take distilled water. This is distilled water. Now, these are the two electrodes. Immerse the two electrodes. One minute. This is the power source. I connected the two electrodes to the 9 volts battery. Now, see this. Observe this. Is the bulb glowing? See this one, the bulb is not glowing, the bulb is not glowing. Now what I am doing, why the bulb is not glowing here when I have taken distilled water? Because there are no ions, there are no ions, are you clear? Next one, I have taken alcohol, see this. Okay, now what I am doing? I am taking alcohol. See this one. What is its name? Ethanol. Ethanol. C2H5OH. Hydrogen is there here also. Okay. See, I am conducting the electrical conductivity of alcohol. Observe this. Observe this bulb carefully. See this one. The bulb is not blowing. Okay. Now also the bulb is not blowing. Okay. So it has the hydrogen. It has the hydrogen, but the bulb is not blowing because 
this alcohol is not dissociated into ions in the aqueous solutions in their aqueous solutions next what i am doing sitting concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop we must be very careful while using this concentrated sulfuric acid okay See this. Now observe this, the changes that are taking place is when I am adding concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop. Observe this one. Bulb is glowing or not? Okay, the bulb is glowing brightly. Why the bulb is glowing? When I added sulfuric acid to water, means it becomes aqueous solution of sulfuric acid. Okay, diluted sulfuric acid. So, diluted sulfuric acid, this sulfuric acid splits into ions H plus HSO4 minus. Are you clear? In the same manner, if I take hydrochloric acid solution okay aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid it splits into h plus and cl minus ion so because of the presence of h plus ions only okay the current is passing so ions are responsible for conducting electricity are you clear about that one so with this we can say that acid solutions and base solutions will conduct electricity in their aqueous solutions are you clear or for the passage of the electric current they should have ions they should have ions though glucose and sugar water have the hydrogen hydrogen okay but they do not conduct the electricity they stays in molecular state only then don't split into ions are you clear this is the simple experiment which shows for the passage of electrical current they should have the solution should split into ions in their aqueous solutions are you clear okay right so you have to practice the diagram in page number 40 everyone has to practice that are you clear right observe the glowing of the bulb okay when it is kept in the acid solution in kept in the acid solution why because in acid solutions you will find ions you will find ions as either the acid or the base splits into ions in their aqueous solutions so the movement of these ions for example you take the case of hcl we did the experiment with sulfuric acid the same result you will get with the hydrochloric acid also so it splits into h plus ions and cl minus ions these ions are responsible for the for the passage of the current in the solution are you clear about that one in the same manner sodium hydroxide na plus oh minus this sodium hydroxide splits into concerned ions na plus and oh minus ions these ions are responsible for the passage of electrical current okay next one koh like that so what we observed in this experiment the bulb starts glowing when acid or base is added drop by drop to the distilled water to the distilled water next one see what is the inference you can uh, draw glowing of bulb indicates that the flow of current through the solution when the bulb is glowing means current is passing through the solution electrical current is passing through the solution so with this we can say that the ions the mobility of the ions are responsible for the passage of the current in the solution are you clear acid base solutions and salt solutions have movement of ions okay movement of ions okay these ions are helping okay the solution to allow the current to pass through it are you clear so with this we can say that acid solution or the base solution or the salt solution will split into ions split into ions and they give concerned ions those ions the mobility of these ions are responsible for the passage of the electrical current okay this is the experiment are you clear no heart anything simply you draw the diagram also okay it is given in your textbook page number 40 okay you practice the diagram okay and you will get the full marks so six out of six okay whenever a type of this type of question is given means first you have to list out the materials after that you have to write the procedure after that you have to 
write your observation after that you have to write your result okay there in the matter are clear right